Welcome to this presentation. I'm Nick Harvey, Apex Technical Director for Applications. Uh, we're going to talk about Flexo Process Control. Firstly, what is process control? Very easy statement to make, but we have to understand what comes behind this. This, in theory, is very simple. Repeat what you did today and do it again tomorrow. Very easy, very simple. Produce today in the same way as you did yesterday. Again, very simple words, but in practice, we know this is much more difficult with the Flexo process. What Apex have brought to the industry is the GTT technology, which enables a calibration role to give a process control within the Flexo process. So, how does GTT give a closed loop process control for the printing process? This is the fundamental behind this presentation. So Apex have brought to the industry a GTT technology which enables a process control role which we call a calibration role. This is 50% uh, engraved one side with a GTT S and 50% on the other side with a GTT XS. So how does this give a closed loop process control for all Flexo printers? That's what we will come into now for the rest of the presentation. I want to discuss Revo in the beginning. This is a movement within the label industry that is uh, progressive and um, is, is interesting right now, launched at Label Expo. Revo is a version of fixed palette. It's uh, made from a simulation of seven colors. What we need to understand is that it is up to seven colors. It is not always seven colors printing. So you can actually print with Revo with two, three or four colors depending on what is required for the, in, for the design. Going back into fixed palette, which as we said is part of uh, Revo. So is fixed palette used commonly in the industry today? If you ask many printers, they will say they do a version of fixed palette, maybe one colors, a red or a green, uh, cyan and yellow, whatever to try and make some simulation, but very basic fixed palette. The reality is if you are not printing with 75% uptime in the industry today, uptime being the time that you are producing saleable product, product on the machine, then you are not printing fixed palette effectively and efficiently. That's the statement that we make. So how does GTT give the closed loop process control to all formats, including Revo, of fixed palette printing. So process control, calibration role. The only way to fully control the variables within the Flexo process is to eliminate as many of them as you can, as possible. With GTT, we have the possibility to identify parameters that cause problems in print, whether it be ink, plate, or dirty analux related because of the consistency of our GTT. The calibration role doesn't bypass issues on the press, it actually identifies the root cause. So the calibration role consists of half with GTT XS and the other half with GTT S. The reason we do two halves is one reason if we give a full, a full GTT analogs role, then this will be the best analux on the company's site. And somewhere along the line, somebody will use this as a printing production role, which means it loses its calibration purpose. So the fact that it is split, it has two engravings, means that it cannot be used in production and it will always remain as a calibration stroke reference role for the printer. The calibration role process control explained a little bit in more detail how to use this within the production process. Within the design, control blocks are required to be added for the yellow, magenta, cyan and black. This can be only 100% and 50% or if you have space, also 10%. These are the values we work with which control the Pantone simulation. Most designs have space for these to be fitted on. And again, if you can't measure it, you can't control it. So they should be within the design. Situation one. Looking at the 100% block, 50% and the 10%, if we notice on setup that the 
color density is incorrect, is too low, we make the following action. If you put the GTT calibration roll in to the unit that is low on uh, color density, and then if the 100% solid density becomes correct, you know that by changing the calibration, analogs roll has made the color now correct, which means the analogs you used in the first position is dirty or worn, and the problem is 100% the analogs. So you can take action, clean the analogs or replace it with a spare one that you have on site. Situation one. We have also situation two, where the 100% solid density is still incorrect. The same as situation one, 50% is good and the 10% is good. We again replace the GTT analogs with, for the calibration analogs that they have. The 100% solid density remains out of color spec, so the density remains low. You know it cannot be the analogs. The analogs has been calibrated to the role that you've just put in, so the analogs is correct. Therefore, the solution has to be a poor or out of specification ink. So the next change, obviously, is to change the ink formulation or the ink bucket. Situation three. This is where the 100% is correct, 50% is correct, and the 10% is correct. This is flexo printing by numbers. If these values are correct, then the design, the image, the color simulations have to be correct. If not, if the design or the colors are wrong, the only solution is that the repro is at fault. So it cannot be the analogs and it cannot be the ink. This is a clear identified area of, of the fault. So again, situation three, problem repro. We also can take into another dimension, situation four, where the 100% density is correct, but the 50% and the 10% are out. So again, we change for the calibration analogs roll. If now the 50% and the 10% values are correct, the solution could be the operator's pressures were too high or the TIR on the analogs was out, which meant that the operator had to put extra pressure on. So again, a clear indication that we have to change the analogs or the operator has to reassess his settings. If the 50% and the 10% remain out of specification, then again, it could be the operator or more likely it could be the plate or the roll TIR and therefore we need to look at changing these. So again, a fourth situation that identifies the problems within the Flexo process. So this is explained. For the first time in the Flexo process, there is a true calibration method to identify the source of the parameter and the problem that is causing the print not to be correct. This enables fixed palette to be printed with accuracy and repeatable and very efficiently, bringing you up to the 75% uptime. So what else does GTT bring? Constant results constant dot gain throughout the run, predictable print results, which enables a repro company to effectively produce colors accurately and even more designs than they do today. Reproducibility from meter one through to meter 10,000 and 20,000. It is a much more stable analog transfer mechanism and it gives standardization and consistency across company to company, machine to machine, even country to country. It's a true standardization method that GTT brings to this Flexo process. Thank you for your attention. And if you need any more information on fixed pallet printing or Apex products in general, please see the Apex website. Thank you.